Hi there. So in this video, I've, I'm going to do another ChatGPT one again, just just you know, just on the fly. Really, I haven't sort of scripted this or anything. Um, just like the one I did with ArcGIS, um, accessing the web map from um, the JavaScript ArcGIS API. So I thought, well, that that's a, obviously a commercial product. But what about open source? So I just thought I'd record a sort of me trying that out um, with Leaflet. So let's use Leaflet. I've used that a few times before. Uh, could use open layers, um, but I'm, I'm just going to go with Leaflet at this time. So how about let's create a web page using JavaScript, using the Leaflet library to display a map. Let's see what it comes up with. So says it's outlining don't forget with, with these ones I'm I am not doing any debugging I'm only going to do copy and paste into a file save the file and then open it in the browser um, you know I'm just I'm just sort of testing out chat GPT with with this so how does this look um, so JavaScript will go there yeah okay is it going to show it all together though Okay, so your your um, you're supposed to put the script block into there. All right, well, mm, um, display the code as one block. Certainly, glad to hear it. You know, I want it all in one. I'm, I want to do a copy and paste. All right, that, that's that's what I want to do because I'm not going to enter any code. That's the test going on here. So, and this code creates a web page. Okay, then let's copy code. Oh, it's using OpenStreetMap. So I've copied it. Um, I'll paste it into here, into Notepad Plus Plus, and then I'll just um, save that. That's now saved as leafletdemo.html and now from my explorer I'm just going to drag it into the blank page. Oh okay it's pretty cool it's worked interesting uh, letterbox shape um, but uh, you know it certainly worked Pretty, pretty, pretty neat, really. Nothing wrong with that. How about let's go back to um, the chat GPT and let's just um, use the same code but make the map a lot bigger. You see, I'm, I'm, I know where to do it. I mean, it's you, you, you know, you've got, you've got the height there um, but you know I, I, I want it to do it that's that's my point here um, so it's set in the center um, get, get in the tile map there and and it's actually putting a marker as well at, at the, um, the, the location so let's copy the code just refreshing it so on simple web map let's do a refresh yeah there we go so it's made the map bigger exactly um so you know that's uh, pretty neat really um so let's go back to it and say add a search um box let's call it to um add a search box where the user can search for city in the UK yeah let's this let's you know rather than just add a search widget let's cut let's you know I can imagine it's going to is it Norman Tim or whatever it's called probably but yeah so it's going for a third party um, control geocoder um, let's see what it's going to do because I'll you, you know I'm just I'm just limiting it really with with a UK search 
sure about this and this is going to you know I, w I would have what's it called that num and tim um, you know geocode something like that I would, I would have gone for that right, let's copy it let me just refresh uh, so it's done a little Magnifying glass, okay. I mean, that wasn't there before, was it? I didn't notice. Um, so let's say, um, stuff. Ah, you see, yeah, that must have been, is that, is that there? Uh, it must have been there already because it's not working. I mean, it's using, um, I didn't think it would. Um, Revert the code because okay. So it is adding that. Um, okay, so it's it's putting on a you know that that sort of function for search city. Um, let's. I think what I'll do actually is remove the search function. So we just get the basics back again. Because um, I, I mean, I didn't, I, as soon as I looked at it, I didn't really like what it done. So we've got the basics now, you see. So if we just copy that. Um, and let us refresh. So let's go back to this. It should be simple. Yeah, so that's where it was before. So I won't, I won't change this stuff. So the search mechanism was never there and it made a rubbish one, let's face facts. So let's now, let's add the um, search box to the exact same code. Add a search box using, oh, what's it called? Um, uh, yeah, that's the one I want to use. Using is it the Latin? No, using that API um, to restrict searching in UK only. Yeah, I appreciate that yeah, using the API. See, I want I wanted to bring in because that that's what I would have sort of opted for. But how's it gonna? I know you can do it, obviously, with within the um, API itself. So, uh, oh, it's it's got a pop up mechanism there as well. It's even catching here. Ooh, yeah. Not again not totally convinced but it's a bit closer so let's copy let's save that and let's refresh there we go so if we search for Leicester let's search there we go okay so um, oh that, that, uh, that seems to have worked actually oh of course it has yeah of course it has sorry I, I missed that uh, on chat GPT you see if you look at this it's added 
Oh, it's because it's sort of scrolled off that. You see, there's the call. Country code is GB. So it's added that as the filter. That's what I was, was after. Uh, that's the kind of process. So that's pretty neat, actually. Um, and, and it's made a pop up. So you click and off you go. So I guess that uh, I would move the box and stuff, obviously. So let's go to Buxton. Search. And there we go. Yeah. And we got a when you click you get rid of it so it's a nice little pop-up as well okay i think i'll leave it there that's pretty good um that's open source uh simple map display with a search mechanism uh i might go back to this to push it a bit more but as, as you saw you i'm using some of my own knowledge really to input into this process it's great that chat gpt is kind of covering off the you know the basics of javascript and, and getting you past that and uh, and also just showing you how to build um you, you know the calls to to, to to leaflet and and just you know and to do it um and to display the map and a bit of function um but it, it's be, it's good if you do know certainly something about the background and what's going on otherwise you won't get precisely what you want so that again again i repeat you know this this is a tool in your toolbox you use it wisely Hope that's useful. Thank you.